I'm a huge fan. I'm also an inventor because the Optofo has been born. We are going to make an Optofel. What is an Optofel, you ask? Well, it is a waffle made out of an Optavia fuel. So as you can see, I've taken a bite out of this one because it's so delicious and smells so good and yummy that I couldn't resist. So it's ridiculously easy. Let's get right on into it. And then afterwards, we'll do a little taste test and let's go. You only need a couple of things to make what I am coining as the Opta waffle, the waffle made out of Optavia smashed potatoes. So I have the sour cream and chive smashed potatoes here, and I also have the roasted garlic creamy smashed potatoes. Choose either one, doesn't matter. It'll come out exactly the same. I also have a bowl. Now I have a relatively deep bowl. Like this bowl is definitely deeper than your typical cereal bowl or soup bowl because uh, if you don't use a deep bowl with these fuels, then they kind of tend to overflow or explode in your microwave. And then I have a mini little spatula here. I have a mini waffle maker. This is the one by Dash. So as you can see by the uh, blue light that's on, oh, just went off, that that means it is warming up. There are no buttons or anything on here, so it's super simple to use. You need a nonstick uh, cooking spray. You just use a couple of spritzes of that. And of course you will need a half a cup of water. So simple. So let's go ahead and pour our smashed potatoes into the bowl. Okay, make sure you get all of it out because we want to make sure it's the right consistency. As you can see, it's a very finely milled powder. And then we're going to add a half a cup of water. There we go. And then we are going to take this little spatula and we're just gonna mix it around. Now, most of the time when I make my fuels, I tend to use a whisk because um, most of the fuels, that's not true. I guess the fuels that have, let's say a soupy component, like, or a pasta component, those tend to be thinner. And I just wanna make sure that everything is completely mixed and blended well, and there aren't any, you know, chunks or lumps or anything like that. So yeah, you just mix this. I mean, the potatoes are pretty easy to use. Uh, that's it, you just mix that. And then on for this normally, when you just wanna make smashed potatoes, which are just mashed potatoes, when you wanna make them, all you do is, you know, make them like this, but you put them in the microwave for uh, 60 seconds or a minute. But when you are making these lovely um, opto waffles, <laughs> you wanna put that in the microwave and you wanna put it instead of uh, for one minute, you wanna put it for a minute and a half. So set that for, there we go, a minute and a half and let her rip. So what's great is that when the smashed waffles are in the microwave, they really do thicken up very nicely and they make for a really good batter for your waffles. So I'm excited. You know what, I keep calling them Opto waffles, but honestly, they have the consistency of, I would say a latka or a McDonald's hash brown. So there you go. This is my spray. I have original, I think I have a butter version and I also have a olive oil and maybe coconut oil, all different brands, they all work. So I'm gonna take this spray and I'm actually gonna spray the top and bottom of this, there we go, little waffle maker. So I think I put two or three or, three or four spritzes on each and then as soon as this lovely you can close it doesn't matter as soon as the potatoes are done then what we're going to do is we're going to take them out and we're just going to pile on the potato mash onto the waffle maker and this makes a very very large waffle not large but it makes a very substantive fluffy waffle um, I actually, the first time I tried it, I actually split the batter in two and it made two pretty thin waffles and I just, it just wasn't substantive and hearty enough for me. So I was just like, nope, I definitely prefer it when it makes one bigger waffle. All right. So as you can see, let me close this. You can see uh, it thickened up a lot. 
like that's pretty pretty good and so I think it's important to make sure yes that it's still nicely blended because out on the edges it's it hardens a little bit not hardens but it kind of thickens a little bit more so you want to open your dash already has your non-stick spray on it and just plop it on not that deep do you hear that sizzle Ooh, ASMR intensity, right? And I have experimented with timing on this. So anywhere from 11 to 12 minutes for me, you'll see when it comes out what it looks like. But yeah, anywhere from here we go. 11 to 12 minutes is perfect. Now when you after you pile this on, I'm going to taste this too. Mmm. The mashed potatoes mm, taste so good just by themselves. So you don't want to push it. Let, let this down gently and then let it do its work. So as you can see, the steam comes up and there's a probably about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch uh, of a space between uh, the bottom and the top lid. And yeah, set your timer. So I would just set my timer here and I just use the one in the microwave and I set it for, I'm gonna set it for 11 minutes and we'll check at 11 and see what it looks like. Okay, so the buzzer just went off and it has been 10 minutes. Yes, yeah, so let's see what it looks like. Whoop, that looks like it's done. Okay, no, 11 minutes, I mean, sorry about that. You saw it. You can rewind and figure that out. But as you can see, oh, you know what? So what I do is I take a little, I take a, a spoon or a fork and I see if it lifts easily and it doesn't. So I'm gonna keep it back in there for another minute. So that's the thing with smashed potatoes. They are definitely, you know, potatoes. They're potatoes consistency. So they're sticky and it takes it a, a second to harden for sure. So I would just, you know, try it out. If you have a kind of a waffle iron that is super powerful, this is teeny tiny. So this is for a mini makes one like basically quarter of a full real waffle. And so I would just say, try it for 10 minutes. And if 10 minutes is not quite long enough, then increase it. So I did 10, totally not long enough. So 11 was working for me kind of well, but kind of somewhere in between 11 and 12. So let's keep it in there a little while longer. And then we'll just see what happens in a minute. And by the way, this Dash waffle maker, I used it like crazy uh, before I started Optivia. So it is definitely a staple on my counter and I use it all the time. I would say I, before this past week, when I started, I would say I used it probably once, maybe twice a week. And now I use it daily. <laughs> it's my new favorite tool. Okay, so let's see what this looks like now. So we'll open it up. Mmm, that looks really crispy and brown. So let's see if this lifts up pretty decently. And it does. So, okay, doing it one-handed is really hard. So I would say just um, don't use your hands, but I did because I only have one hand to use. But there you go. That, I'm sorry, that looks pretty doggone good. So let's uh, go ahead and do a taste test and let's do a crunch test, okay? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for the world debut of the Optoffel? Optoffel, that's hard to say. For a word I just made up, it's kind of hard to pronounce. But anyway, copyright that, that's gonna be the new term, the Optoffel. So an Optoffel is a waffle made out of an Optivia fuel. So here it is. So I don't know if you can hear this or not, but it's very crispy and crunchy. Here's one side, you know, there you go. That's the thickness. I've been handling this quite a bit, so it's a little smushy, but let's do a taste test, shall we? Okay, so let's do this. Maybe there's sound of vision. It'll be like ASMR kind of. Mmm, it was very crunchy on the outside for sure. On the inside, it's hash brownie. It's so good. I'm so happy. So 
Again, you can make these, like I made it today with the smashed potatoes. I'll make a couple other videos because there's a little bit more entailed with uh, trying to make a soup or a pasta fuel into a waffle, but these potato latkes, potato waffles, whatever you wanna call them, potato hash browns are so easy and yummy and you don't have to add anything else, you just add water. It's literally the same exact recipe as you would for just plain old Optivia potatoes. Uh, you just nuke it for 30 seconds more. So I'm a huge fan. I'm also an inventor because the Optoffel has been born. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and I will have plenty more videos on lots of fun and simple things. But um, in the near future, my passion right now is really figuring out how to make the best of the Optivia 5-in-1 program. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this together. So there are a couple of other videos that should be popping up shortly on the screen. Check out some of my other videos and I'll see you really soon. I hope you have a wonderful day and stay encouraged, okay? Bye.